Hey guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab. Today in the lab, I'm doing an exciting video because I am collaborating with my girl here on YouTube. Her name is Andrea Renee. I talk about her a lot on my channel. She's super sweet, super cool, and she gives you some amazing advice and reviews on products. So if you love watching people that does reviews on products and want to know like 100%, 100% honest like facts, definitely check her channel out. It'll be listed in the description box below. But today, I'm going to be bringing back a video here, a series here on my channel that I used to do last year. And that is what I'm going to be using for that month of, for the month. I'm going to be using this product for the month. So this is in the month of March. These are products that we're going to be using for the month of March. And what we're doing is sharing with you guys products that we're going to be using for this month, but drugstore and affordable makeup. So I have a few products here. Some of these are some products that are like, oldies but goodies and then some of them are recent uh products that recently came out that i've already used like halfway through and i'm shocked about it but i'm gonna finish them out because the tubes are almost empty but yes nevertheless if you're new to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button it definitely helps me out give this video a thumbs up make sure you check out andrea's video as well turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any of our uploads and yeah if you want to see what i'm going to be using for this month that's affordable keep on watching all right so starting with skincare I'm going to be starting with skincare because I actually want to use these products up. And I talk about these products recently here on my channel in my affordable makeup videos. This is the e.l.f. Um, Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I actually just used this in my video that I uploaded yesterday. I think that video will go up before this. So, yes, full face of trying e.l.f. products. But I've always talked about this product already. I use this on my daily like routine when I'm going to work my everyday makeup type look I use this moisturizer It's super hydrating very nice consistency smooth on the skin and it's not too thick but it's not too watery so it's like in between giving you enough hydration that's the main reason that I do like this so it definitely meets its standards and, and it claims it says that it's with purified water jojoba and vitamin E and it definitely gives me like a glow like a natural glow without it being like dewy or too oily so I really do like this moisturizer so check this moisturizer out in your stores i actually got this one from marshall's or tj maxx um if i can find the video i just recently put up when i got this and i'll link it in the cards at the top but yes that is the moisturizer it also came in a set so it came with this illuminating eye cream and i want to see what this eye cream is about but i've only tried the eye cream maybe once or twice and i felt like it just did what like a standard eye cream would do as far as giving you that luminosity i'm not quite sure just yet so i want to use this up for this month probably at night or even under concealer a tip that I can share with you guys, if you're looking for like a smooth under eye and you have like fine lines under your eye like I do, and no matter what concealer you're going to be using, it's still a crease throughout the day, maybe try an eye cream. Maybe not an illuminating one, maybe a regular eye cream, under eye cream, one that's going to help with depuffing and things like that. That usually like smooths out the concealer and just allow the concealer to last a little bit longer. So that's a little tip I want to share with you guys. So yeah, I want to try this out for the for this month. Try to finish it, but I don't know. This bottle is almost done, but I want to, you know, use most of it. And a primer that I have is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dewy Primer. I talked about this here on my channel as well. As you guys can see, I kind of use this up a bit. I typically use this along with those products on my, like, my everyday type of look. Typically, I go for more of my affordable products when I'm just going to work. Um, I do work in a corporate office, so I don't really use a lot of my high-end stuff because when I use my high-end stuff, I'm more so, like, doing like a full-on beat when i'm going to work i'm just doing like eyes like not even eye, like not even an eyeshadow shadow i'll show you what i'm talking about when sometimes i'll use those but just mascara foundation concealer highlight blush bronzer eyebrows and that's it like but this right here this dewy primer will have your skin looking very dewy towards the end of the day i would say for me it definitely gets a bit dewy right here in my forehead area and then just a little bit in my so halfway of my T-zone, this will definitely show up. And my skin is um, normal, normal skin, normal combination skin, depending on the weather. So yeah, if you have dry skin, I would suggest definitely getting this in your collection if you don't already. So that is the skincare products that I want to be using for my like every day for the month of March. Now, moving on to, I, to do I want to do eyeshadows? I'll wait on eyeshadows. Let's move on to foundation. So for foundations i was digging through my collection and i found some foundations that when i first started my channel i was like these are some good foundations 
I don't know why I stopped using them because all these products come out. That is the exciting part about this video and these types of this type of video is because we want to go in our collections, dig in there and get some of those products that you used to love and use those products. Even try to finish them if you can, because you don't want to just waste your money. I've talked about that many times here on my what's in my monthly makeup stash type of videos. But these three foundations here I'm going to talk about. So the first one is the makeup. No, not makeup. Maybelline. See, the writing is off. I've had this for so long. I think my bottle is actually a little cracked, or is that foundation dripping down? I have no idea. It looks like it's cracked. I'm not even going to be doing all that. That's a bit dangerous. But this is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 312 Golden. And it's a 24-hour uh, full coverage foundation, seamless matte finish. And it looks like this. This thing has been through some craziness, but... I want to finish it up as you can see like it's a hole it's like a space in there it's basically done so i just want to finish this up um for days that i want to do a more full-on look and yeah that'll be that um this one here by covergirl i remember purchasing this and i was so hyped it had to be like during the summer months because this one is super dark but i'm going to give you a tip that you can do using the next foundation that i'm going to talk about the reason i have three foundations that i just want to use actually four foundations that I want to use for this month because I typically switch up my foundations throughout the days like I don't wear the same foundation every day sometimes I'll do two for that one foundation and I'll switch and go to another one so I want to make sure I had a variety since I want to challenge myself to use these products this month so that's why I have all these foundations but anywho enough of me rambling about that this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation do you guys remember this comment down below if you do if you do Put a blue butterfly in the comment section this was bomb you guys like I got this during the summer so I was super dark I have it in the shade 760 classic tan and I don't even think they have this foundation anymore it comes with this pump I think I did a review on this so long ago but the consistency of this is so smooth let me see if I can get some out of here this one is almost done as well that's why I was like you know what let me just add that to me using it so this is look how dark that is compared to what I am now when it's cold outside but this is what it looks like it's so smooth it gives you like a satin finish it's a medium to full coverage actually I think this one is a full coverage actually yeah, it's a light it's a lightweight full coverage with um, formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 it has vitamins and antioxidants in it and it is oil free so if you have oily skin you can certainly use this i just don't know for sure if they still sell this in stores but you probably can like search it on amazon or something and it'll be there but look how smooth it looks i forgot how good this looks i'm not sure if i can be able to use this like by itself right now but let, that's where the trick comes in so this one I had in my collection for a while and it was actually too light. That's why I don't use it, but I didn't want to throw it away. And I waited too long to take it back. But this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. And this one's in the shade Classic Tan. And it looks like this. So this one is too light by itself. So I'll put one drop here on this side so you guys can see. Look how light that is. Look how light that is. So that's the NYX Total Drops. This is the CoverGirl Elixir. Now, the trick is, so that I could use both of these, the CoverGirl and the NYX, I'm going to put a drop of the NYX on top of the CoverGirl one. And now look at that. It's going to give me the color that I actually like to use on my skin. Can you guys see it right there? So that's me mixing in the drop. That's the CoverGirl by itself, and that's the NYX by itself. But when I mix them together, it gives me the desired color that I like to look use and the look that I go for on a daily basis when doing my foundation. So that's a little trick if you have a lighter foundation and a darker foundation and you just have them sitting in your collection and you're like, I don't want to throw them away, but I don't know when I'm going to use them, yada, yada. Just mix them together and see what color can come out of it, especially if it's like something like a drop because this one's a more lightweight liquidy consistency and this is a thicker foundation but feels lightweight on the skin so if you mix them together you still get the lightweight feeling but you get the color and the undertone that you want for your skin so i'm going to try to use these this month and remember about these two products how they felt in the skin the longevity throughout the day and things like that so i'm excited about that
Last but not least for foundations, I just want to finish this bottle out. I use this so much since I bought it. It's the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I love a radiant and glowy and dewy look. So this one is bomb. I have it in the shade Caramel. I actually want to get a deeper shade. This one goes on so smooth, very lightweight on the skin. All of these foundations that I have are really lightweight on the skin. I love a lightweight foundation. I don't like to feel cakey. I don't like to feel heavy and, and weighed down because I do put powders and concealer and blush and all that jazz. But this one gives you a flawless finish. I actually am wearing it right now. Gives you a flawless finish. It looks like you your skin but better. What is this? Oh, my feathers are falling. It looks like your skin but better. And it just gives you a really like natural glow. And then like the longer you wear this, girl, you just look bomb. Like they can be like, who? What photo shoot you going to? You'd be like, girl, no, this is my skin. So yes, I want to finish using this. It's like hollow. There's nothing else. There's nothing much in here. So a couple of more drops. But yeah, those are the foundations I want to use for the month of March. Moving on to concealers. So I want to finish this one as well. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. Similar um, line. This is the concealer of the foundation. And it comes with this doe foot applicator. Oh, mine is really messy because I use this all the time, but I only have a little bit left. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and finish this one up as well. The only thing about tubes like this is that you can't even see how much product is in there. So that's the only downfall about it, but the product is good. So I can't see where the product is, but I can feel that it's really light. So there's not much left in here. So I just say, you know what? I'll add this to my monthly um, daily like routine. And then I have two more concealers that I had like sitting in the cut. Like, I don't even really like this concealer like that, but I don't want to throw it away. I know it was super affordable. Um, it's super affordable, but I don't like to waste my money. I don't like to waste it. So I'm going to just try to make it work with these foundations. They're all different like undertones. But these are the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. And I have this one in the shade Medium 26. And that one looks like this. Like, I, I can get away with medium 26, but the other one I have is light 18. This one was a hot mess, honey. That ordering online thing, makeup online thing is just not for me. Not right now. So this is the light and this is the medium. I can definitely get away with the medium. This light one, girl, I'll be having to mix it. Um, the undertones are okay in this line, but these dry down so matte, I'm like... You really don't have a lot of wiggle room to like wait. I typically put my, my concealer on and then I wait and then I go ahead and blend it in. This one, I have to go in immediately and let it give you that flawless camouflage look or what is it called? No filter look. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of these. Um, I'm not sure if they're just too matte for me. They definitely cling to my fine lines under my eye with a under eye cream or without an under eye cream. But yeah, that's those two medium and light and again this is the color pop no for it's a concealer but i'm gonna try to work with them because i don't want to just waste them like even as they're sitting on my hand they're drying but i'm gonna try to work with those and keep y'all posted in the comment section below so that is the concealers moving on to bronzers and uh eyeshadows so the bronzers as i was digging again i found this color pop no filter sheer press powder and i actually use this as a bronzer because it's in the shade dark deep or deep dark it's super deep and it looks like this. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to throw it out. Let me try and work with this again. I can't remember what my thoughts were on this. I feel like it didn't have enough um, warmness in it. It's giving me more of a cool undertone when I like my bronzes to be really warm. I like my bronzes to be warm, similar to this other bronzer that I'm going to talk about. Um, the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade 743 What Shady Beaches. And that one looks like this. So if I put them side to side, you can definitely see what I'm talking about. This one is definitely a cooler tone. This one's a warmer tone. So I like to go for bronzers that are more of a warm tone. But this Wet n Wild one is bomb. It gives you enough warmth to the skin. It gives enough depth to the skin and gives you that structure that you're looking for in your makeup. This one is just gives you that shadow, almost like a contour. But that's because this is not a bronzer. This is a um, Shea Press Powder. But I wanted to use it as a bronzer because they didn't have a bronzer that really that I liked on their website, I think, when I got this. So I just got it, too, because it was like a free shipping thing when I got those concealers and their foundations. Don't even get me started on those. But, yeah, that's why I want to I just want to use these, two. So I'll just work with these. Again, that is the ColourPop 
sheer pressed powders in deep dark and then the wet n wild um bronzer in what shady beaches last but not least are some eyeshadows and highlighter so these are also ColourPop. i love ColourPop products they are super affordable and i'm so excited that they're launching more and more of their products in ulta's because i can physically go in the store and like swatch things and try things out and not make the mistake of ordering the wrong shade craziness but i'm super excited to try their different stuff that are coming out but i did have some of these products already in my stash so these are the eyeshadows and i talked about these here on my channel before like when i'm in a rush and i still want to look like put together but not like a full-on like eyeshadow palette these are the ColourPop uh super shock shadows this was in the shade buzzing and this one's a matte finish and i'm almost hitting i literally hit pan on this so i'm like let me just go ahead and finish it out and i'm gonna swatch it for you guys and that's how that looks so that is the shade buzzing it's a matte shade it has like a pink it's a pink matte shade but it has like some glitter specks in there the next one is called prickly pear and i love this shade i wear this one a lot this one is hidden pan as well i have another one but i couldn't find it but you get the gist of me uh using these as a um everyday type of deal for the month of march this again is in the shade prickly pear and it's right here it's like this beautiful rose gold like shift to it with some sparkles in there like a silver and rose gold sparkle when you move around but yes i definitely want to use those and then i also have a old 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 highlighter it's a super shock cheek in the shade wisp i have already hit pan on this a while back but this is what that looks like and a cool thing about this is that it's so buttery and i can like put this on before I do my makeup and after I do my makeup, I can also use it as an eyeshadow. So it's right here. I can also use it as an eyeshadow and that's what is so exciting about this. I actually wanna put some on right now. Like, look how gorgeous this is. You can just pop it on, on top of something. Yeah, girl. I actually wanna get some more of these, but I'm not sure if they have like some gold ones. I have to check it out. But yeah, so that is the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Wisp. This one is in the shade Prickly Pear, the eyeshadows. And then the last one's in the shade Buzzin'. So those, I definitely like to use these quick and easy, quick on the eye, quick on the nose, and go ahead on about my business. And my face looks like it took me longer than five, 10 minutes. So those I'm excited to use. And then last but not least, I found this eyeshadow palette. I was in love with this palette when I first got it. I used it like nobody's business, but I wanna get back to using it because there's some beautiful colors in here. This is the ColourPop um, Perception palette by Shayla and, Col and ColourPop collaboration it looks like this and then these are the gorgeous colors so I definitely want to get to create some more looks using this palette I believe it's still on their website I believe it's still on their website but yes that is what that looks like and so on the weekends when I do do my like full-on looks or even just recording videos like this then I want to get to use some of these shadows as well I'm not sure if I'll hit pan probably more so on these shades because I typically go for these shades for like everyday type of looks and the golds. But as far as the colors, those may be in there for a little bit, but yeah. So that is everything I wanna use for the month of March. Comment down below if you've tried any of these products, if you use any of these products, if you finish any of these products, let us know down below. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really do appreciate you. So I'm gonna put a twist on this. Yes, I'm collaborating with Andrea, but I wanna do a giveaway. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, definitely check the rules in the description box for this giveaway. I'm not even gonna say what the giveaway is and don't comment in the comment section regarding the giveaway. I just wanna appreciate you guys for watching me all the way up until the end of this video. So make sure you follow the directions in the description box below and yeah. Also, don't forget to check out Andrea's video. Her video will be linked in my description box as well. And thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. And until next time, love, peace, and beauty. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.